Welcome to this video and in this video we're going to be talking a bit about um, V lookups and we're going to be using drop downs and arrays um, and we're also going to be looking at just adding up very quickly costs. So the scenario is that we're um, trying to work out the air show expenditure. Now in here um, we want to put in the um, planes that are actually going to appear in our air show. Now what I could do is I could just type them in there um, and and so on and, and look up the cost but actually we want to use Excel to be fairly clever okay so the data for all of these airshow acts and costs is in a tab called data we've got all of the planes that we might want to use and all their costs and we want to um, bring those in there like a, a drop down like so you can choose the plane it brings through the cost okay first thing um, we've done is uh, in the previous tutorial we um, made this data range an array um, and called it plane so watch that if you if you need to, to do that that's a useful thing to do the first thing we want to do is a drop down okay so a drop down to bring through the list of planes and the first thing we do we go data data validation and we want to have a list appear and it's saying here okay you want a list great where is the source of that where is that list of names so we go down to it's in data and here's the list we just want the planes we don't want anything to do with the cost it, it won't work okay we just want a list of planes okay press ok there we go and if we go down there there we go there's our list okay so what we can do now is um, we can copy that particular cell and then just paste it into the other one so we have the other cells having different um, planes and the same options okay now wouldn't it be good that when we choose Spitfire or whatever we bring through the cost which is here how do we do that well, we could copy it but that's a bit you know let's use some computing here so what we can use is something called a V lookup so go up to the functions uh, menu and if it doesn't appear the VLOOKUP here doesn't appear go to all and then just type in VL and go VL. double click and we've got this little wizard here and it's saying okay so you want the price here okay what are we looking at what are the pr where are we looking at? well we're looking at whatever appears here so in B4 click on that B4 Spitfire bring through the price okay and it's saying where's the table well what's the table called or where is it now actually we've already called it planes okay if you spell it right uh, okay and it's brought through the actual list of planes and it's saying okay so you want the data is coming from here from this table called um, this array uh, array table called um, planes which column is it do you want the names nope you don't want that do we, want the, do we want the cost? Yes, it is, and that's column, what we call column two. It's column two. Range lookup is uh, uh, it's going to be false. Okay, so we want exact match. Press OK, and it's brought through the price. A thousand. Let's check that. So it is is a thousand pounds? Yep. So let's change it to Sotworth Camel, which should come up as nine hundred. Always check what you've done. So change this. Do sock with camel. Yep, that works, doesn't it? So here is the um, actual formula, the sort of function that we're using. So you can see here, VLOOKUP, B4 planes, two false. So B4 is that, the array is planes, the second column, and it's false. And then what we can do is copy that there, down there, and there we go. Now, if you then want to add those up, we can just do a simple sum there. Okay, quick formula, okay, auto sum, and that adds it all up. So that's quite a neat way of creating um, uh, a sort of calculated table, a very useful little bit of um, uh, of Excel functionality there. So we've used the sum functions, the VLOOKUP functions, we've added things up, we've done a drop down, and uh, I hope that helps you um, with your work. Thanks for watching.